from John, why is having no passphrase the default recommended approach? All it takes is for a robber or a rogue bank employee to find your backup card and your Bitcoins are gone forever. Yep, that's true. Um, and so I guess there's some trade-offs here. Um, and so uh, the the passphrase, as uh, Roland mentioned before, um, you know, if you change one little letter, it'll be different. Uh, and so this is also uh, what people, you know, another advantage, I would say, of the passphrase is uh, plausible deniability, where, um, you know, the $5 wrench attack, someone uh, is holding you hostage and saying, okay, log into your wallet, and then you can log in and then you can change, you know, one letter or change, change the, the backup, and then it's going to open up a completely valid wallet, but a different wallet. And so I know some people will make, uh, will use multiple optional passphrases uh, and put a little bit of coins on one of them, put the majority of coins on another one, uh, planning for this exact scenario uh, so that they can have plausible deniability and say, okay, here's here's my wallet, but it's only, yeah, here's all the coins and the other coins are hidden. Um, I, do, I know I wouldn't have the balls to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it depends on your, your, your will and uh, <laughs> fortitude. Um, but yeah, and so um, if you don't have that, then of course the seed is there. Um, all it takes is a robber or rogue employee to, to take a look and run away with it. That's true. Uh, I would say in in our past experiences though, um, the I think the security is good enough in hardware wallets that um, uh, you, you can be quite comfortable with that. Um, but the biggest mistakes we found, uh, and I think it's not only us, but just through the industry itself, is user error in forgetting what a password, their, their password is, uh, either a password to a wallet or that optional passphrase to um, um, the secondary wallet. Uh, and so we, we don't recommend it to beginners, especially because um, uh, beginners may not have, uh, I guess, the they may not have learned, you know, like gone is gone. Uh, no one's going to help you recover your password. Um, you know, like if you get locked out of your Gmail account um, or uh, some account, you know, there's ways to recover. Um, so, but with, with uh, you know, that that just doesn't exist in, in the crypto space where, where gone is gone. Um, and so we feel like... Uh, you know, take take it steps at a time, and people really need to, uh, I guess, learn a lot more about um, um, how cryptocurrencies uh, work before uh, using this feature. Hope that answers. Even to, yeah. Even today, of course, the optional passphrase is an option in the Bitbox app. It comes with already pretty explicit disclaimers, but it's still like so big of a percentage of our support tickets that people just don't understand how it works. They mess up. They could potentially lose access to their coins that in one of the next um, releases will make, will still may be able to do it, but the, the, like the disclaimers will be even more scary because it's, it's just not for beginners. This is our experience. If you know what you're doing, it's a good thing. Definitely. <laughs>